this one's heavy. Whoa, do you see what that says? Life savings. Please? Whoa. We are once again back here at the $1,030 storage unit. If you have not seen part one and two of this unit, you have missed some epic stuff. It has been money, 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 and today we're gonna keep increasing that money, money, money. Let's do it. Let's start by finishing off this last stack in the back here and get these last two boxes out of the way. Let's see what's inside of it. Ooh, wrap stuff. All right. So far, some of the wrap stuff has been high end. That's signed. Oh. Why would you write the price in marker on the frame? That has to be the most illogical decision I've ever seen. And I've seen a lot of illogical decisions. What's in this? Oh, this guy. A bust. Nice. nice. Ooh. What was that? He just dooted. He had to go. He's been holding it in that box for a long time. You know who that is? No. Me neither. I was hoping you would. No, I thought you did. <laughs> no, I was hoping you would. What about... Ooh, what's this? It's just another glass basket. Yeah, glass basket. But this is what I was really referring to. Get this big guy. This looks like fancy. That's for sure. Is there a maker mark? Made in China. That's all. Doesn't say anything else. The bell in there? Service. We're open. <laughs> Service. Let's open up one more piece and see what's in there, and then we'll just move on to the next box. This is super light. Whatever this is, is not glass like the rest. Let's see. Oh, maybe I stand plastic. corrected. Or, yeah, no. it's plastic. Is it? It's plastic. No, it's okay. like really light. Last box in that stack. What's all the way at the bottom of the stack of boxes? This box is like super thick and nice. Giggity. What is this? Cracker Barrel Old Country Store Blue and White Porcelain Collection. Cracker Barrel is the best. There's like, isn't it just like a special feeling playing checkers and then waiting on your food and playing the little peg game? <laughs> Look at that. That's kind of cool. Looks like a ladder, yeah. a miniature ladder. Another bust. Another bust. First, mirror. Two mirrors, back to back. And then we got this a bigger mirror. Oh, that just looks fancy. Fancy. Doesn't it? Let's see who the bust is this time. Famous Roman ones, doesn't it? Yeah. Hmm. It says something right here. Mexico NFC MF. All right. That. Yeah, that. All right, but look at that. It looks really well detailed. This thing, uh, look at that. It's like a, what do they call it? Drawing boards or something like that? I think that. it was a washboard. Washboard? Yeah. Not for my era. <laughs> and then a couple little small pieces down here, like, like a biplane ornament, a blimp, uh, that, like a little a carnival ride. Farmers and homesteaders. I was about to take this wicker basket and put it in the truck and when I went to lift it, I realized there's a box underneath of it that I didn't even see existed until just now. So let's see what's in this. First, that's her name. We don't need to see that last name. Are these records? These are 45s, aren't they? Yep. These are the boat that I row. Can't stop the world, go-go's. Let me pull out a couple of other ones. I don't want to scratch them up since they don't have cover. Actually, look, this whole box is 45 records, and these yep. are covers. Check this one out. Let's see if we recognize, or you guys recognize any, because I'm not, unless it's a big name. Mercury, if it's on, believe it. See me, feel me, if it's on, believe it. Carpenters, look at that. They paid 78 cents whenever they got this. Top of the world, capital, roulette. I'm not going to go through all of them, but... A lot of the little 45s there. And look right here. The whole stack too. This is a huge stack of them. Yeah, these are all the ones that are in the um, booking thing. And there's some loose ones. This is hair stuff. Yeah. Hair stuff. I guess because that goes with record for some reason. Under that is just more. I mean, there's probably at least 100, if not more, the little 45 records right there. And I didn't even see that box till just now. Last two boxes of this side of the unit. I can sell you and feel this is books, but. Spider. Clear. <laughs> that was on your finger. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Was it really? No, it was just down there. He's at the bottom. I didn't even feel it. <laughs> This is um, Aristotle 3. Let's see how old these are, because usually I don't even look at books, but some of the older ones we found in the first part 
were worth like 20, 25 bucks a piece and people in the comments were saying they could be worth even more. This is the works of Aristotle from 1982. So not quite as old as I would have thought. Some more Aristotle books. Uh, what is this one? I, I don't know how to pronounce it. That, take that in your magic spider. Scoot that box over. Let's get the last one here. It says books too, it looks like. Yep. So let's see. Ew, I saw ah, bugs at the bottom. Look at it. What? what are they? You know how long they've probably been living under here? They probably have like a whole family and like generations. Like that's some grandson, his great grandpa, <laughs> everything under there. They've probably been there forever. Let's see what's in here. And those are books. These are the kind of books I don't like to see. These are usually worthless because they're like too new to be vintage, but too old to be useful. Yeah. Oh, look! This is such a good business strategy nowadays. Mind your own business. Whoa! It works wonders. But yeah, just books. Now let's get on to the other half of the unit. At least this one's not on the ground, so we won't have any, you know, ancestors and bugs <laughs> living in there. Uh, these are a bunch of Christmas stockings. Those aren't interesting. More stockings. <laughs> Is this all Christmas junk? Looks like this it. is all Christmas junk. I'm not looking at this box. Let's get the next box. Ah, it looks like I see a blanket on top. Let's hope it's not all clothes or blankets. That's a frog. A frog? That is a big frog. <laughs> and this is like all stuffed animals and books in here. Look at these, some Beanie Babies. I know some of these guys could be worth money. Merry Christmas from 99. There's the pink guy, purple one. Both of them still have their tags on it, so that's a good sign. All these stuffed animals seem to still have their tags on. What brand is this guy? Gallery? I don't know. Any more Beanie Baby brand? Look at this one, it's like got a, a candle. candle. Yep. Then you got another Beanie Baby with this tag too. This is from 2000, so he's 21 years old. He could drink now. <laughs> then we got some textbooks, and we got some textbooks. And look, there's another Beanie Baby. A couple Beanie Babies, and Eater in there. A couple other things like that in there. Overall, Beanie Babies could be money though. This box is like eight billion pounds, so I'm gonna assume it's more books, but maybe they're old. Oh, look at that. Who would ever guessed? They definitely look old though, don't they? Yeah. Let's see if we can find a date on this guy. It's this way, Howler. Is that a yearbook? This it is a yearbook. Like <laughs> That's cool, what year is it from? Winston, Salem, North Carolina. 1973. Huh. That's kind of cool. So I wonder if these are all yearbooks or... No, these are definitely not all yearbooks. So here's American Poetry and Prose. A couple textbooks. Is this one a yearbook? Yeah, like 1974. That's a fancy yearbook. It is. We never had anything like this up front. So it looks like a combination of maybe books they had from school back then and with their uh, yearbooks. Look at that. That just looks so old. Let's see if we can find a date. I've heard of that author before. It's just interesting to me to find like how old this stuff is, but there's not a publication page on here, so no idea how old it is. So I saw this last time, I couldn't make out the brand model or anything like that because it was still kind of surrounded. Now that we got it out, do you see anything? I still don't. Thomas Piconi. All right, so it looks like it's a radio maybe to a radio and a record player. It looks radio, like. Radio, cassette, and record player. All right, nothing on the back as far as model goes. It's kind of hard to look it up when it doesn't have a model. Do you see a model? All I see is a Thomas Piconi thing, uh, radio, cassette tape, deck. Uh, I don't see any model number. Maybe on the bottom. Let's, oh, this is heavy. This is the box right under the record player. Let's see what's in it. Huh, what a surprise. Under the record player is records. Hey, it's Barbra Streisand. At least somebody I've heard of. I guess that's a good sign, right? Right. Uh, let's see if I pull out the stack right here on the side. We got Pete or Pet Clark, uh, Pichola Clark. Okay, somebody likes this Clark person. Pumba. Mama, whatever. Um, Pet Clark again. All right, Johnny's Memphis. greatest. All right. Yeah. I'm not seeing no big names, at least for me. These are probably big names for some people. When I find records, I'm literally like, is there an Elvis, is there a Beatles? Beyond that, I'm pretty clueless. And I don't see those yet, but still some decent names. I mean, at least, like I said, at least there's people I've heard of in here, and that's an improvement. Bigger box or little box over here? Little box. All right, little box right here. Let's get this one. But before I open it, guys, can you please take two seconds and leave this video a thumbs up? It helps us out so, so much. And of course, subscribe if you're new because there's more of this unit to go through. And we buy units like this all the time, so you don't want to miss it. Let's see what's in this box. What is that? Is this all mail? Did you give me a mailbox? It looks like check boxes. All right, you think they're just full of cash then? Hopefully. <laughs> These are checkbooks. They used. Why? They kept all their used ones. 
Yeah, I mean, I, I have to ask, is there a reason behind keeping your checkbook? I mean, now obviously it's outdated with online banking. I don't know why anybody would do it, but was there ever a reason to do this? Look at all these checks. <laughs> Let's just go to the bank real quick. Got yeah. 20, 50, 24, 26, 111, 28. Man, there's a few hundred bucks right here. I'm about to go by the bank real quick and just go ahead, go for it, cash them all. Make me a few hundred dollars. Just pull out one more envelope. Make sure we're not seeing no money in there. It's always yeah. possible. It's happened to us before. Where you least expect it, that's where you find it. All checks in there, so no cash yet. Now let's get the bigger box and see what's in this one. Nightstand contacts. Now look at these old pictures. Some old black and white pictures. <laughs> These like journals or what? Oh, they're stamps. The stamp collection, isn't it? Look at Looks that. Looks like it. Yeah, holy yep. crap, there's a ton of these in here. That's pretty cool besides that page. But look at that. Hmm. There's a ton of old stamps in here. I saw one that said two cents, four cents. Cool. That's cool. That's definitely cool. This is another one, hopefully. Yes, it is, look at that. All kinds of old collectible stamps. This could be nice. worth tons of money here. Stamps are so random. You know, like a random stamp you think's worth nothing, worth like $1,000. Or maybe it's worth two cents. You just never know. The Tale of Mrs. Little Mouse, or Tittle Mouse. Tittle. That sounds bad. <laughs> oh, what is this? Solid brass photo for him. Yeah, All right. Really tiny. Yeah. Uh, what else do we have in here? Let's see. Is this a photo album or stamp book? Stamps, isn't it? But they're yeah. not in there, huh? Some are. It's got some in there. Yeah, it's stamps, but there's not a, a lot of empty pages in this one. But still definitely a stamp collection. I wonder if that's what this is too, then. Let's see. Nope. Pictures. Those are actual photos. We got textbooks and photo frame down there, our photo album. Let's sh that. Look at the painting or drawing. What are these books here? Well, these are old. What is this? Uh, more stamps. Holy crap. Look how many stamps that is. Let me like open it up. I mean, you're talking hundreds and hundreds in this book. This book's complete, it looks like. And look how many there are. Are they all complete like that? Look at that. I mean, there's hundreds and hundreds of stamps here. Holy crap. They just keep coming. This is like four or five. They're all full. I mean, that's five straight complete books of stamps. Four. Let's go five for five. Yep. I mean, we have to have a thousand plus stamps in this collection, just this box so far. Let's, there could be more. Are these photos actually? This is an address book. <laughs> What's in here? Stamps. Literally stamps. The other kind of stamps. <laughs> the ink stamps. <laughs> yeah. This looks like another yearbook. And some newspapers. Let's see if this is a significant one. Makes crucial bid to end strikes. 1979. All right, not as old as I think. Price 15 cents on that. But overall, I think we pulled out all the stamps. The rest of it looks like personal stuff, but that could be a big money box. Let's get this box. It says Striker on it. Striker sounds interesting. What do you think the Striker is? Striker. It's, oh, it's trolled me. It's Christmas ornaments. <laughs> well, this is a jewelry box here. Ooh. What you got for me, Santa? <laughs> Santa don't got nothing. I guess I get cold this year. I've been a bad boy. Um, All the way down. Look at that. This box is nothing but Christmas ornaments. Let's get the Xerox box. Ooh, rhymes, rhymes. I got them. K, all right. There better be one giant K in here. What is that? Is that the wedding thingy? What's it called? Uh, a disc? Yeah. yeah. I don't I don't know what that is. No. It looks like it goes to a doll. I was about to say veiled. That's the word I was thinking of. Maybe not. Oh well. Broke it. Whatever it is, it's busted now. But that I just I don't know. Get this big old long box here. It also just says K. You know, what do you think the K stands for? Her name? Yes. Let's see. Oh well. That's not what I was hoping to see. A bunch of Christmas balls and are these just different ornaments? Eeyore. Hey look, Eeyore's in there, yeah. A bunch of Christmas ornaments, Christmas balls, just more random Christmas decorations. Let's clear these boxes off the Whoa, that's coming right off the bottom, yep. isn't it? Yep. Ah, 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 ah. Let's try. I see you trying. <laughs> Let's try to get these boxes out the way is what I was gonna say. Check out this lamp. <laughs> you know what this looks awfully familiar to me? Huh. 
the very first storage unit we ever bought on on this channel, first one we ever got, had a lamp that looked almost identical to this. <laughs> At least I think it does. It might just be the same colors. I Could don't have know. Been. That was like three years ago. What else do we have in here? A metal tin, a couple metal tins. Same thing. Um, and well, the glassware. Look at it. Look at the pattern on that it. That's cool. trippy. It doesn't have a maker on it again, but it's cool looking. I wonder if this is going to be like an entire set of that. Because look, this looks very similar in color. So you think this could be glass? carnival glass? Might be. Or depression, not depression. I don't know. One of those fancy glasses. Yeah. You guys know the differences. Make sure you let me know what you think it is down in the comments. Next box on that little rope. Let's see what we got. Uh, looks like more glass, doesn't it? Whoa. It's painted rock. That's like a very well painted rock. Usually they're just like a color or something. That's like a whole scene done on that one. Yeah. That's impressive. <laughs> you got that. Let's see what kind of glass. Oh, they're ornaments. Mm. Looks like a Santa Claus police officer. <laughs> and oh, like a bear police officer. And like a caroler. Yeah, Christmas caroler. I was about to say Christmas singer. I'm so glad you said caroler because I would have sounded <laughs> stupid. <laughs> Um, this little bust. Bach. It's Bach. Bach. Ask Bach. I got more. No, yeah. never mind. That. Uh, this is somebody's award. Core Island Lighthouse. SpongeBob. SpongeBob SquarePants. It's just a puzzle, it looks like. Ooh, look, some video games too. Madden 09. Simpsons. And another puzzle down there. Let's see what's on this side. What is that, first off? No idea. Look at this frog, or a rabbit. rabbit. Does he open? Oh, he does. Nothing inside, though. <laughs> I mean, it looks cool. No maker's mark. I feel like I'm repeating myself. A Is crab. crab. Ow! No, I'm joking. <laughs> it looks legit. It's metal. Wow. That's pretty cool. I wonder if he's like, cast iron. Is he open? He does. Uh, what are you supposed to put in him? Like a ring? I don't know. <laughs> like one ring, that's it? What's this? Oop. Almost broke a lighthouse. It says Oracle on it. That's the brand. Yeah. Oracle. <clears throat> All right. What is this? I see these and they look shiny. Bakugan. Bakugan. Why can't we find some Pokemon? Not Bakugan in here. Uh, what else is over here? Little golden cup. Gary stickers. And a couple textbooks. Let's see this box. K desk. Contents. Alright. What's in your desk? Don't tell me you got a junky desk. Yeah, and you look like you got a junky desk. This looks like all personal stuff. Paper clips and whatnot. Quality, Quality pencils. pencils. Ooh, look, they saved the stamp. I'm gonna add it to the other stamps. Personal. Uh, checkbook. Come on, what you got in here? Mm -hmm. Tell me you got some money. No. Uh, what else? Anything of interest or is it all just personal paperwork? Looks like it's gonna be all personal paperwork, doesn't it? Yeah. As much as I don't want to admit it. Personal paperwork and office supplies. And I'm gonna make sure. What's this? What is that, huh? Pick trace. Picture. No, it says the R in there. Oh wow, it's old. <laughs> uh, anything on this side? More stamps, like lots. Look. Are those like just whole pages? They legit are all just whole pages of stamps. <laughs> Let's look at this envelope. Cash? No. <laughs> you never know. You know, you can never be too sure. There's something that's not like that. What are those? What is that? What is that? Let letter Gothic? Is it a stamp? No. I have no clue. What the heck are those? That's really strange. Yeah, I don't have the side idea. Look at that. Seashell. Seashell. There's something else in here in a plastic. Oh, it's just tape. I guess that's all office supplies in this very random box. Let's get down to little box, because I like little boxes. That's their address. It says bear clothes. What kind of clothes do a bear wear? does a bear wear? <laughs> boxers. All right. So he's out of the tidy whitey phase. He's into the boxers phase. This is literally oh, bear. <laughs> like teddy bear clothes all the way down. Oh, jeans. Uh, all right. Maybe we'll find some kind of bear that's worth money in here somewhere. Watch that brand. There's like a certain brand of teddy bear, I cannot remember for the life of me, that's worth like tons of money. Maybe you guys know. What is this one? Nah, books. Books. And they're colored the books. Author. Yeah, they're all the same author. 
Let's see if anyone's heard of them, if they're any good. Shooting Stars, Falling Stars by who? VC Andrews. Usually, from my experience in these storage units, the ones that are colored are too new to be worth any money, but maybe I'm wrong. Let's see what this box is. It looks like it might be ornaments just based on that. Holiday treasures. Yeah. Well, we found a box of treasures. Treasures. They're heavy that's too. It. They're not empty at least, so that's a good sign. Let's see what's in there. See what one of them looks like at least. I mean, it's still in a styrofoam too. They are. Oh, they're like um, nativity. nativity scenes. Check that out. And it's like brand, literally brand new. It's in the steel plastic still, so they've never been opened. I'm willing to bet it's probably like a whole nativity scene. It actually says it's on the front, doesn't it? Uh, no, it just says drummer, what it is. Drummer boy with donkey figurine. All right. Uh, what does this one say? Blessed visitors, shepherds. Yep. And then this one, blessed visitors, kings. So, what is that underneath it all? Lipstick? Yeah. yeah. Put it so, on. No. No, thank you. I don't care what year it is. Not doing it. So, it looks like we have like a whole little nativity type scene here that's all brand new. So this bag here is like those styrofoam Halloween type decorations, like pumpkins and stuff you can set in your yard. So let's get that out the way. Let's go through some mattress pads. Yay, Yay. mattress pads. It's actually super light too, so it might be legit. No, no it's Christmas decoration instead. I don't know what's worse. And some of the boxes are empty. Boy. This is candy that's <laughs> empty. So you got those at least, those are in there. And you got, these, like red skin colors, those are in there. And you got some blue, I'm not even gonna say blue balls, but some more Christmas balls down at the bottom. That box? No. Before I take this next box down, can I point out the fact that there's like this little mini trunk thing back here that's locked? And what is that? Ah, I don't know, I don't wanna, I don't know. <laughs> My curiosity will get the best of me, I'll start throwing stuff. Let's go through everything in a nice, peaceful manner. Okay, that's gotta be like for her name. Winnie the Poop. Poop. Yeah, Winnie the Pooh. So Winnie the Pooh kids blanket. Uh, you got this and whoa. whoa. That looks old. Whoa. Oh, it's a reproduction. Dang it, I was about to say, look at that. 1460 to 1523. Wow. Now that would have been Dang epic. It. Oh man, imagine finding a painting from the 14 or 1500s. Crazy. That would have been the craziest thing I've ever found right there, but reproduction. Here's another really old frame too though. I don't know if that's like of significance, like that's their family or that's some type of historical it's figure. Fine. Is it? No, yeah, it is. Look. Right here. You can't read it at all though. No. Still cool, no doubt. Let's see. Those are metal. Mm -hmm. Blanket. So we got a cross, a couple little decor things. What is this thing anyway? A coat hanger. Okay. What's in this paper towel? Just another vase. Yeah. What's in the bag? Why is it in here? What the heck? Whoa! Go to. Whoa! That is the most <laughs> humongous light bulb I've ever seen. Put it over your head. Got an I got idea. an idea, guys. I got an idea. <laughs> Seriously, have you ever seen a light bulb that big? Oh my god! This has to be decorative, because what? Seriously, what could fit this? That's just, I don't know, that's just that's why I love storage units, right? Like, who would have ever thought one of the most interesting things you see today would be a giant light bulb? That's the randomness <laughs> that I like. Um, the only other thing is whatever's in here. Let's see, I'm gonna put this over here so it doesn't get broken while I move this other stuff around. Save the big light bulb. Yeah, that's cool. What is here? Mirror. A mirror. A lot of mirrors. Mirror on the wall. Uh, let's see what this is. This is like something metal. Uh, this design is copied from an old mold used in the bake shop, Williamsburg, Virginia. Oh, look. Uh, a gingerbread A man gingerbread. Mold. That's cool. cool. That is definitely cool. This box is actually pretty interesting, not gonna lie. Let's see what's in this box now. Look, wall clocks and... Votive. Votive lamps. Never heard of that. Me neither. Let's go ahead and slip this side open and see what a votive lamp is, if that's even what's in there. So first thing first, this little jewelry box. It's empty. Not a good side. Bad What's start. This? this is empty too. Whatever Bad start. it is. Uh, this fragile, the whatever One corp. Light. Do not drop. Let's see what's in there. Open. It's not coming out. It's stuck. Hmm. Oh, so it's old, definitely. Yeah, it's definitely old. That. We got some newspapers. More newspapers. 
That looks like something that goes on top of a table. And some more wrapped up glass stuff. Let's just open something random like this. It might just be all, yeah, like this. Does it have a maker's mark or anything on it? Nothing. Crystal? So, Maybe. Sounds like it. <laughs> I don't know. Look it. It does sound like it. But other than that, yeah, it's just a bunch of like little individual glasses like that wrapped up. Next box. Oh boy, this one's heavy. This one's heavy. It's it was porcelain this. Then it was whoa. You see what that says? Life savings. If that if that's money in that box, that's like two million dollars. <laughs> Feel that weight. But it also says historic newspapers. Huh. Life savings, please. Whoa. It's newspapers. I got you, didn't I? Nah. Did I get you at least? Yeah. But Mother Teresa laid to rest. Um, there's some Time magazines. Look at that. Princess Diana, the Crash. This is the second box of historic newspapers we found, too. Yeah. So look, I mean, you got Prime Minister is killed. 1995. So some hallmarks and stuff in there. Definitely can be interesting again. All newspapers. Yeah, all newspapers. I mean, it would have been nice to be life savings, but the historic newspapers are interesting. It's kind of cool to just go through and read it and be like, you're reliving history. Like, people from that time period were actually reading this. I think it's cool. Let's get this one. Karen's. It was Karen's summer clothes, but now it's auction. Ooh. Let's see what's in the auction box. Okay. And basket. basket. I was about to say Easter basket, but just a basket. What is that? They yeah, really had a thing for these things, didn't they? <laughs> yeah. 320 on there, so it had to be like a, you know, different item. That's the number of the item, and that's how they auctioned it off. That's the only thing I could think of. 385 on that. Let's see what this guy is down here. Statue of Liberty? No. Look like the color. Yeah. This is Denmore Elegant. Just a little glass figurine. Let's open up a couple more. What is this? Coaster? It almost looks like the thing that like sits on a judge's desk that they hit with the hammer. Yeah. <laughs> See if there's anything like that over here. Like that. Oh well, that's like a candle holder. What's down here? Like something down here is big. Let's pull it out and see what it is. This thing. Whoa. Look at that clock. Fancy. Definitely fancy. Citizen quartz. And I'm gonna guess there's no other identifying marks anywhere. No. What a good guess. It's like the theme. But that could definitely be worth a little something right there. Other than that, it's just a bunch of little glass figurines. Let's see what, ooh, this was a lot lighter than I thought it was gonna be. Ah, uh, now nah, Christmas balls. Yeah, it's Christmas decorations, but not Christmas balls. It's Frosty and Santa and his PJs and some birds and, okay, there's a Christmas ball. So at least they're kind of right, but that's just called Christmas decorations. Let's see what's in this one now. Oh, it's heavy. <laughs> kind of. Is that like a doormat? Yeah. It looks Kitchen like a doormat. Like that. Probably a Christmas one, right? Oh, what a surprise. Frosty. <laughs> Good I would have ever guessed. These look like... What do you call oven mitts? Uh, there's like nothing in here, it's just paper. But down there, it's more Christmas decorations that I don't wanna look at right now. So which one? You want the tote, the smaller box, or the bigger box? Uh, this one. This one? That has clothes in it. Oh, come on, the clothes are so fun to look at, right? Yeah. Hey! <laughs> Let's see what's in here. I saw a newspaper in here, so it has to be stuff wrapped up. I don't know. I mean, these people collect newspapers too, so it could yeah, be Yeah, but they're newspaper. not balled up when they collect them. True. Nuts! But yeah, it's not in there. It's an old planter's peanut. That's kind of cool. There's a lot of newspaper in here for whatever's in here. All right, let's open up the first ball of paper we see. Whoa. It's made in Finland. That's Finland. different. <laughs> That's different. That is very It's kind of cool. You don't find many things made in Finland. It's always... China or Thailand? Italy. Yeah, that too. Is this another one of the same type of thing? Some type of little antique -y bottle. Don't really know what it is. This one has no markings on it. Let's see what the bigger stuff is, like this. Is it just plates or is it something cool? Well, that one looks like a plate. This is newspaper that this is wrapped in. It's from 1992. It's older than us. 
That's just a plate. Alright. One more. Let's find like the oddest shaped thing. This. That feels weird. <laughs> what is it? And it's like a little teacup. So again, it looks like a lot of glassware. Now I can finally reach the little lock trunk thing. It's been bothering me what's in that thing. And if you want to find out, you're gonna have to come back next time. Peace.